crazy mirror adhesive and okay, scrape all this stuff up down, patch it, texture, and make it like new. Okay, I got my wall scraped down, got my mud mixed up. Well, scrape it on, get it done. So this is a 20 minute mix mud and as the name implies it only takes 20 minutes to dry. You can get, get it in different dry times uh, but after 20 minutes you can wipe it down or, or yeah, uh, for some areas it's probably sand it down. Down. Okay, so the next phase is to take a wet rag or a sponge, works really good, and we're going to blend each of the patches in, just going to flatten them out, take away the, the high spots, and uh, it's a little tedious, but it's a lot better this way than using sandpaper or sanding it down. Uh, there's nothing to breathe here. You're not having to breathe all that dust in, all that crazy, crazy dust that you don't want to be breathing in. It's really bad for you. But using a wet rag, much, much better. It'll float everything in really good, smooth it all out make a nice place for our texture. Yeah. Anyway, got a long ways to go. A lot of spots here. See this one has a lot of knife walks. It's called walking when you get that type of a pattern with the, the blade, but our rag here should do the trick. That one's a little indented, but still should work. There may be a couple spots that I need to go back over, like this one. I think I might need to float a little bit more mud there to really make it cover. And this one got a little ditch here. But yeah. Anyway, long ways to go. I don't think you need to see me uh, knocking it all down, but I just wanted to show you the, the major parts. All right. All right, so I got my second coat of, tick of uh, mud on, 20 minute mud, and it's already dried. And what I'm doing by using the rag is I'm just softening all the edges. And any lines or imperfections, we can work those out now, and they'll be less likely to show through. But the softening of the edges is really the key part in making this hide because what you see is, you know, it's going to come through even though you texture it. So the better you can get this, if it's nice and flat, then, it, then it's going to cover with the texture just right. But if there's any imperfections underneath it, any walks, those are going to show through. And if there's any large edges, those are going to show through too. So we want to soften those edges. And then we'll be ready to texture. Uh, 
Okay. And I'm actually going to be using a can of texture. A lot of people think you can't get a good texture with a can, so you can't make it blend. But I'm going to show you you can with a can, even on this big wall. So. Yeah, let's get at that. So I've got a giant home axe wall texture pro grade knockdown texture. And we're gonna match our texture size, which seems to be pretty light on this one, the texture pieces. So we've got an adjustment here. Gonna adjust it up. But this what we're gonna do is run it under some hot water. And build up some extra pressure to allow us to shake it up a bit more. On the front dial, we've got adjustment for light or heavy. So we can test it in a couple spots to get it exactly how we want it. And this will just run under a little bit of hot water to heat up the can. adjustment for light or heavy depending on how we like it so we'll just give it a shot and see how it goes okay on the front here we've got to remove this tab here and now we're ready to shoot it on looks like heavy is to the left and fine is to the right so I'm gonna go a little finer well let's start in the middle and see how that goes And we want to either cover everything that you don't want to get texture on, it's messy, uh, or wipe it off right away uh, if you do get it on something. So, I've actually got carpet here that I can use. Cover my base at least most of it. And yeah, the top edge, if I need to, I'll wipe it off. The carpet's actually getting replaced. This unit's getting remodeled, so no biggie. But anyway, here goes. I'm going to go in circular motion, just like so. And with this, kind of left is more. We only need enough to make our pattern. Make it blend. Seems like we're going to have fairly large texture. That's okay. Again, you can adjust it on the dial for whatever size you like. And we'll knock it down accordingly. I need to shake it up a little bit.
I may need to get it a little warmer. Okay, while that's setting up, I'll go ahead and wipe off the baseboard, anything that I got on the, on the baseboard, which I really didn't. So I have to make sure. Okay, and now we'll wait and we'll knock it down. Okay, and you just want to wait one or two minutes and knock it down. So I'm already ready to knock it down. I'm going to use my drywall trough and I can scrape off whatever is on the texture. The trick to this is holding the blade at a 90 degree angle from the wall. Just lightly knock it down. And if we need more texture, we can always apply more afterwards. Grab a little bigger knife. And the trick here is to keep the tool perpendicular to the wall. It's kind of tempting to go at an angle, but and we'll scrape this off once in a while on our deal. We don't want to sit the knife this way because that would just flatten it down. And we're not wanting a smooth look. We want to Nice texture. Blend. And we'll have some areas knocked down and some areas blocked. And they can blend in with the wall. The key is because everything is nice and flat. We won't get any walks or any runs in our texture. Oh, nice piece of wall. To make it come out its best, we'll want to prime it and then paint. Primer actually fills in voids uh, in the wall material and as well as it seals the front of the wall. So. That will give it its best finish. like our we're about a medium texture here so this is going to work just right for this I do believe and anyway, it'll hide it make it look like nothing ever happened it was a mirror here not anymore
not too the difficult there. All set. I'll let that dry in, prime it up, paint it up, be good to go. Okay, so there it is, all textured in. Everything's ready to go, ready for some primer, ready for some paint. And that should do the trick and hide it just right. Okay, so there's the finished wall, all painted, all textured in. Done deal. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance, overnight.